Okay, procrastination complete. Let's finish this goddamn window seal. Um, I think I get some help today so I can uh, tackle this, all right? Let's do it. these perforations on here are made to be broken off. See, now I have a new blade. Thin glass. I was thinking this would be the thicker. That'll definitely break. Hello. Yeah, they mentioned the thicker and a thinner. Look at the pre seventy. The early 70s ones had thinner, or thicker rather. Well, this has been replaced. Wow, that's in really good shape. No rust. I think it was getting a little bit of water. Oh, it's kind of like a nice ripple to it, huh? Probably doesn't help things, but the way it is nice. This one's nice and straight. If I had the lighting right, you can see that. Hmm. Is that just the way, just the way they do things back in the day? Probably. Right, let's clean There's that So up. much overspray on this glass. Listen to this razor blade. <laughs> like I'm hitting sand. So I'm going to clean all this up, inside and out. All this garbage. Because I am getting this tinted. This, of course, is the outside, so it doesn't matter, but uh, we'll flip it over to the inside as well. All right, cleaned up. This glass is scratched or something. It's got like a little spot. It's got it right there. And some scratches. It says it's that um, solar. Where can you see that? show you guys. I don't know. I don't think it has a tint. I think it's just clear. But something going on there. I, I laid this gasket out in the warm California sun. Got it nice and malleable, we'll call it. Now what I gotta do is start with one of these corner pieces. 
I'm gonna jam it in there with two hands and silicone and glass cleaner and get that started. And then you put this in the truck, get it all in, glass in, and then come around and when you're putting in the last piece, that's when you uh, tuck in the other one. Or do you tuck in the other one before the glass? I don't know, we'll see, I'll let you know. Let's tripod you up. You can share in my misery. It looks like a pain in the ass, but I don't know. I'll start with the glass cleaner. See if that helps. Well, these guys were doing it. They were tucking it in this way first. And then pulling this up and under, or over it, rather. Let's see, I've got all sorts of little plastic tools here. need something to yes, have this clamp down on the workbench then you're just fighting this that's the way to do it folks didn't see anybody do it that way but let's see if it comes to that Trying to fight. There we go. Almost there. See that? I like the plastic tools. No damage to the truck I'm using as a workbench or the rubber. That feels like it's going to pop out any second, so. Play with that for a little bit. I had to do that with the when I did the windshield. I really had to hold it. Did I do silicone on that one? I don't know. Just the glass until the glass cleaner dries. It kind of wants to pop out. So yeah, that wasn't so bad, right? All right, I'm gonna try this bit myself. Got tape to hold the gasket up on the top. As I tuck this in. like doing the uh, windshield. I'm gonna have the extra, extra gasket. So I'm gonna have to maneuver it outwards. Into your corners. I don't know, 
loosely. Voila! As they say in France. God damn it. Sorry guys, time lapse did not go. But it took three of us fighting in this corner. Oh my god, it's just blowing out. What is with the light? There you go. Yeah, it took three guys. We were just fighting to get the glass. Get in the bottom and folding it in the top. We really just gotta go all the way around, a lot of glass cleaner inside and out. We're holding pressure on it. One guy inside poking out, one guy poking in. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry about that. I'm going to try and make a good video and see what happens. So now I'm trying to get this tucked in before I do the lock strip. I'm actually going to go straighten this out. So I'm screwed up. Well, sorry, had some camera issues. But she is in with the trim. Trim came out a lot easier than I did with the doing the windshield. Obviously, from having a little bit of experience, uh, this sucker is hard to get in. As you can see, I split the gasket. At least it's the bottom. It's not like a water leak problem. Um, you can get these replacement ones. It'd probably be a good idea. Um, silicone is your friend. Doing this guy. Yeah, I even put a little tape on the tool this time. As you can see, it peeled off, but and then when you have the tool running, the piece, this had a little bend in it, it'd be better. The tool, too, I think I told you guys, get the tool that has a bend in it. Because out here is perfect for running it. Ah, if you're going to do it. So this glass is all ready for tint on this truck, thank God. It's always summer in LA, so we need that tint, baby. Um, thanks, guys. Hope you everyone's having a good uh, past Thanksgiving, but happy holidays. My videos have been a little sporadic lately, but hopefully, get some more stuff to do. All right. Pretty big leaves, right? It's the size of my hand. This is a good upgrade for this truck. Be some screen over here. Got so many leaves down there parking this thing on the street.